friends, welcome back to my channel. It is time for us to do a, another update on my Pan That palette for 2018. In case this is your first time tuning in, I have been trying to pan the Lorac Mega Pro palette throughout the 2018 year. I will link my playlist up below in case you wanna go back and look at any of my previous months of work. But before I show you guys where my palette is currently, let me go ahead and show you where I was at the end of last month. Here's my palette looks like after eight months of usage. All right, so to start off with this month, was a little bit more challenging for me because I also was doing my palettes on the chopping block challenge. And as I was trying to use a vanilla, which as you can see, I have officially finished up, it really was limiting the shades that I could use in here for crease. I did use Wisteria a few times. I, as I'll keep saying, really enjoy Wisteria, but the mattes in here in general are really hard to get pan on or even to get good usage shown on it. You know, I've done a lot with Fawn and Camel and Sapia, but I feel like you can't really see that because they are just so hard pressed in here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing unless you're trying to pan an entire palette in one year. But I did use Wisteria a few times. I used Dusty Rose a bunch with Vanilla, and then I also used Smoky topaz I like very awkwardly worked through the middle of that particular pan but I definitely think that the progress on smoky topaz and dusty rose will definitely slow down because my game plan is to work a lot more on sand I really would like to use sand up in the next month I feel like with sand and opal I've left myself two lid shades that I could work a lot of like these colors with these two shades. I'm sure I could eventually bring in brown, but my primary focus will be more of these complementary sort of warm tone shades that can go well with sand. I also think Opal will go well with that. So I'm looking forward to seeing more progress on these types of shades that I have kind of used intermittently, but haven't really focused solely on. I definitely feel like as we're getting closer and closer to the end of this year, that this half of the palette is really been neglected because I don't feel like there have been a lot of lid shades that have paired so nicely with these. Um, I'm really surprised at this point in the year that I managed to get this much of blush done because I really haven't been liking that color. I definitely think that once sand is gone, the palette itself will get a lot more tricky to use but i definitely think i'm going to work through that challenge no problem the other thing that i'll the other thing that i'll mention is now that i am done with my Too faced shadow insurance i find that the mattes in particular are blending a lot better they weren't necessarily like terrible to begin with like i didn't feel myself being like oh these are so hard to blend or like oh they're so patchy but then when i stopped using it and started using just a regular eyeshadow primer i was like whoa these are even like easier to use. So I definitely feel like the mattes in particular are performing even better, like on par with how easy it is to do the satins that they have in here. That definitely has shown me how powerful a glitter type of primer can be and how sticky it is compared to a regular one. So I am appreciating the mattes just like a little bit more than I was prior to this. Now let's talk about my cream shade. I not surprisingly managed to finish up my NYC individual eyes. This was the like cream shade in here. I have since depotted the shades that I want to keep and I'm going to go ahead and throw this guy away. I was using a lot of other cream shades from my palettes that were on the chopping block, but after I got through that, I stuck on using my Too Faced matte eyes and I was really just using the fresh linen shade. You can't really tell that I've used this and I've been using it for like, I don't know, two weeks at this point. 
The mattes I have found in here are very hard pressed. They are pigmented, don't get me wrong, but they are really pressed in there. I find that I have to do like a little bit of pressure to get enough color on my brush to be able to spread all over my lid before I put any other shadows on. I'm really curious to know after an entire month what that color will look like. Will it have any noticeable dip in it or will I like maybe have pan? Who knows? But that is what I have been focusing on. So that is it for this update. Relatively short and sweet. I'm hoping to have a lot more progress on this now that I'm done with my palettes on the chopping block. I enjoyed doing that challenge. It did help me clean out some of my collection, but it definitely took away from this palette and I I want to stay focused on this because I'm not sick of it. I just want to be able to have more progress for next month. But that is it for me. I'll talk to you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.